it's been a couple of days since I've made a video. Um, we had some damage from the wind last Sunday. And um, so that's still lingering over my head, literally. So there's one tree that came down that I have to finish taking care of along with uh, a few more. But this video is going to be on uh, the Crossman 622, which is a CO2 powered 22 caliber pump action pellet rifle, which holds uh, six pellets in a rotary clip. I'm going to fire five shots using the Crossman Ultra Magnum 22 cal 14.3 grain pellets and I'll be shooting that five shot group at 25 yards and there's the target and uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay, so that was five shots at 25 yards. Let's see how we did. You know, I would say that uh, that's quite impressive. Again, especially with me shooting and using Crossman pellets, which I don't personally have the best results from. But um, out of that gun, it's, it's amazing. So I was so impressed with that last group that uh, I figured I'd try my luck and see if I can hit a soda can at 45 yards with this rifle. So uh, here goes. Let's see if I can get that can down there.
I'll take that. So a little bit about this rifle. I've always saw them online and on, I should say, eBay and question, was questioning whether or not to purchase one. And again, I did. Uh, the seller basically stated that it did not hold air. So I got it for a decent price, I would say. Um, I don't know. I think I paid two twenty dollars for it, something like that, plus whatever shipping was. Anyway, when I got it, of course, uh, it wasn't holding air. And not only was it not holding air, uh, it was not indexing the magazine. So again, I uh, purchased a few magazines, tore the rifle apart, resealed it, found out what was going on with the magazines not indexing, cleaned it, lubed it, and uh, put it back together. And I must say that the 622 is an awesome rifle. Uh, I am truly enjoying it. Um, it's a short, short stroke, uh, really reliable, no issues out of it. Um, I have no complaints. I mean, once I got it holding air and indexing, I mean, I love it. It's, it's, it's awesome. And I, it's, the only issue I have with it is um, in some ways it's built well, but it suffers from a few Crossman design issues. Uh, mainly one is the way the tube, this tube is mounted to the valve. That was a bad idea. And the way the two outer halves here are actually mounted to the valve. It's another bad idea. So if you're going to get one of these and you start shooting it and trying to do groups with it and you're wondering why your groups aren't looking good, don't rest it on the pump handle. Rest it on this, uh, the frames or the, the, the sides itself. Um, I noticed a big difference with accuracy resting it here as opposed to resting it here. So I rested here and of course you saw the group that I got at 25 yards. I mean, you can't complain with that. I, I, to me, that's awesome. And again, that's shooting crossman pellets. So, uh, I'll do a little bit more shooting with it and uh, we'll call it a day. And last up is the good old shooting, shooting portion of the video where I try to take down these cans with a good old crossman. A red dot would be much better for this than using the scope, but let's see how it goes.
that was my first time trying that. And uh, yeah, using a scope to do something like that, it's not cool. But um, uh, yeah, I did I did horrible. Uh, but it was a lot of fun. Anyway, uh, that's the Crossman 622. If you have a chance to get one and you're familiar with uh, working on air guns, I'd highly recommend it. It's a lot of fun. Um, has a lot of knockdown power. Uh, very accurate, I would say, for a gun of this age. I don't exactly remember the year they were made, but um, yeah, definitely check one out. Anyway, that's it for today.